So, so in your life, can you see all the things that take you out of his presence? I know some of y'all well enough, and you've revealed to us. I could, I could point out where you lose your focus. And most of y'all, it's not some big thing. It's a little small. Whoa, what was that? Have you ever seen a fly come in the room when I'm there? Yeah, I just want to tell you something. I lose my mind. I'm going to do whatever it takes to kill that fly. Listen, I burned breakfast the other day because a fly flew right across my face, and it was on. I got him. But when I came back, breakfast was done. But, but I realized what happened. It took, it took my eyes. No, it was a different, different skillet. And usually I'm whistling when I'm cooking. And I almost always whistle, I surrender all. I surrender. What the heck is that? I got my electric fly swatter, and I was just hitting everything I could hit until I got it. I'm not proud of that. I'm confessing it. I'm proud that I killed it. I'm not proud of the fact that it, that it just, I can't almost even focus. I've had meetings in here when a fly flies by, and I'm like, I can't even hear what they're saying. I'm... So a fly, if a fly can take all of my attention in a moment, what takes your attention throughout the day? What is your fly? Most of y'all, it's social media. Most of, it's all, most of you, no, here's what it is for most of you. How poorly you think of yourself. And because you have such a negative view of you, you spend most of your time either being sad about how you think about you or what you need to get better about. And you totally forget the God who's sitting right there who said, I formed you in your mother's womb and I love you and I'm right here with you. And I'm calling you and I'm begging you. I'm going to eat better so then I can be a better Christian. No, you want to eat better so you look better so that you feel better about you. I'm not against eating better. Eat better. Do that. Grass-fed everything. Get you a grass-fed almond or something. Go to Whole Foods. Mortgage your house. Get some groceries. I get it. But most of the things that you're trying to improve are for you, not for God. If you're in the gym 45 hours a week, you're doing that so you can wear a cut-off shirt. Jesus doesn't need your cut-off shirt. Okay? Work out. I'm not against that. I love work out. Work out. But if your focus is how big you're going to get or how slim you're going to get or... Jesus ain't worried about that. He wants your heart. So what takes the presence of the Lord out of your, what sucks it out of your life? I was not talking about you, Nathaniel, with your arms. That shirt is screaming for help right now. Look at that. The, the sleeves of that shirt are like, oh, God. Oh. So what takes you out of the presence of the Lord? First off, I love having fun in church. Thank you all for having fun in church, Okay. I encourage you to have fun in your life, too. Stop taking yourself so seriously and take God very, very seriously. So think of that one thing right now that takes you out of the presence of the Lord. And it's on a regular basis. I'm not talking about today because there was like a car accident that you saw and you're like, well, today. I'm not worried about today, okay? I'm not worried about the earthquake that you went through when you were five, okay? What I'm talking about are the little foxes that take you out, okay? Okay. I'm not talking about your, like, most traumatic moment, you you know? I was dangling from this bridge, like, I was trying to focus on... I'm not talking about that, okay? We'll get there later. I'm talking about the little mundane things that take you out of the presence of the Lord. 